Hi everyone, I'm Sepide and I'm a 3D GIS solution specialist at ISRI Canada. Today, I wanted to show you how ArcGIS Urban can support digital twin workflow for building environment and infrastructure projects. Any digital twin workflow starts with an equity analysis to simulate real world characteristics and behavior of any built environment. An equity analysis can help any smart city identify the best neighborhoods for a new development plan. One example of equity analysis is examining the special pattern of the quality of life across your city. This 3D map represents the special pattern of the quality of life across the city of Toronto, which brings the indicators such as health, demographic, and economic indexes into one picture. After identifying the best neighborhood for your new development plan, you can abstract and design your development scenarios. By calibrating your local zoning code and building regulations, on each parcel, you can determine what you can and cannot build on a property. This new development plan includes residential, office, retail, and parking space use types. Once the development has been completed, ArcGIS Urban helps you predict your design's impact on the local population. Also, you can estimate the construction cost for each building in a parcel. This cost analysis or 5D approach empowers project leaders to track and predict how design changes might affect construction costs so they can adjust their decisions accordingly. You can monitor CO2 emissions, energy and water used, and daily traffic that this new development will cause. These benchmarks are essential for smarter design. The next step in digital twin workflow is evaluating the impact of any infrastructure on the surrounding environment by performing a special analysis such as shadow impact analysis on the adjacent buildings. Imagine if the roofs of the adjacent building consist of solar panels, the insight into the building's effect on sunlight can lead you to investigate alternative designs such as a lower rise design. So by modifying the plan scenarios, to a low-rise building design, you are minimizing the density. This design modification minimizes almost 40% of the local population growth and development cost. The huge CO2 emissions and energy and water consumption will be cut. Also, you see that daily traffic will be decreased. To simulate the characteristics and behavior of this infrastructure in the community, you can provide realistic digital representations of the building's facade, landscape, and the local road infrastructure changes. This realistic visualization facilitates the conversation with other project leaders and stakeholders. Another phase of digital twin workflow is pairing GIS with building information modeling. The integrating GIS and BIM modernizes the project's designs and asset management phases. BIM modeling presents the detail of the building assets, help you understand the complex system better, and reduces the need for an expensive and time-consuming experiment. The 3D mapping of outside and inside buildings infrastructure helps identify and resolve potential problems and validate the location of your assets, such as the utility assets and their facilities. In this way, you can understand where the critical indoor assets, such as ventilation shafts and docks, are in the building. In addition, you can see what the mechanical equipment looks like before stepping into the building. So during the maintenance, you know where they are located and what to look for. As you saw, digital twin workflow leads you to enhance decision-making, improve efficiency, ease communication, and reduce costs.
Also, through the digital twin workflow, you can test and analyze a design before they are built, optimize the efficiency of the design, and predict the potential problems before they occur.